we are living history right now. Everyone's gonna know where they were when Queen Elizabeth II died. Hello, my name is Megan Ruth. I'm a Canadian living in London, England. I was not planning on making this video today. <laughs> I was not planning on making any video today, really. Um, but here we are. Well, obviously you know why I'm making it. If you uh, <laughs> haven't been living under a rock or on a different planet, you know that Queen Elizabeth II has passed, has has died in Balmoral, and uh, it is a shock. It is. I, I am shocked. I'm quite shocked, actually. It shouldn't be a shock because she was 96, and you know, people don't live forever. I think it's a shock because she's the only monarch most of us have ever known. Like, unless you're in your 70s or above, Queen Elizabeth II is the only monarch that we've ever known. In a world of constant surprises and uncertainty, she's just always been there, you know? She's always been on the throne. She's just been a symbol of strength. I'm not a royalist. I wouldn't consider myself as a royalist, but I think a lot of people who wouldn't consider themselves as a royalist do or did quite like the Queen. I was quite shocked when I heard that she passed. I, I was quite sad when I heard that she passed. And I was very shocked that I was quite sad because I, I've never really been a big royalist despite, um, you know, living in the UK, loving living in the UK and appreciating that the monarchy is such a huge intrinsic part of the UK. I'm sad for the royal family. Obviously, it's never easy losing a loved one. That's, you know, a given. I'm sad for the country. I'm sad for the Commonwealth because she has been, you know, a, a symbol of, of strength for the entire Commonwealth and coming from Canada. I'm, I'm a part of the Commonwealth and the only reason why I'm able to live in the UK is because I'm a part of the Commonwealth because the visa scheme that I'm on is only available to Commonwealth citizens. It's weird because growing up the monarchy was never a huge prevalent part of my life. I mean the Queen was on our money but she wasn't as big of a part of my life as she would have been maybe if I lived over here because over here I feel like the royals, the monarchy is so much more talked about over here than in Canada. I made a video about this actually a few months ago just after the Platinum Jubilee. I was talking about how in Canada we are a little bit more indifferent to the royals than over here, especially with the media. The media, it, you know, treats the royals like celebrities and all that, which is a lot more prevalent over here than in Canada. But I think that's also because they live here. The institution was built here, essentially, of, of the monarchy. I am a bit worried about what's going to happen next because I know a lot of Canadians don't like Charles. I think it's a hangover from the Diana days. I don't know whether Canada's going to end up actually leaving the Commonwealth anytime soon. I don't think they will. I think Australia has a better chance of doing that sooner rather than later. But I think generally a lot of people don't like Charles. Yeah, he's in his 70s. He doesn't have long to live. He's, gonna, he's not going to be on the throne for long, I think. Um, well, I know, you know, comparatively to his mother, at least. It's going to be interesting what happens next. And being in the UK, being in England during this period of time is special in a way because we are living history right now. Everyone's going to know where they were when Queen Elizabeth II died. Everyone's going to know that. Everyone who has a living memory of today is going to know where they were when Queen Elizabeth the second died because it is a momentous day in history. It's a special day in history and a, a sad day in history. Absolutely a sad day in history, but everyone is going to know him. You know, like it, it's it's one of the most important days of our lives. Even if you aren't a royalist, even if you aren't a supporter of the crown, it is still one of the most important days of our lives. It's a shock. You know, it's it's you know what's coming, but nothing will actually prepare you for it when it actually does happen, right? So I just want to say um, my condolences to the country, my condolences to the royal family. Yeah, we'll see what happens next. Bye, guys.